Hey guys, Lori here. I'm here to start another reading vlog. I was in the city all day. Um, I went to go see Book of Mormon with my friend um, Sarah and a couple of her friends. It was actually super fun, but I actually got a ridiculous amount of reading done today, which I did not expect. So I'm going to dive into all the books that I have read today. I'm going to give you guys my plan for this week and my just my general reading plans because this week's going to be a little bit busy. So today is January 19th, which means tomorrow is January 20th, which means I have off from school tomorrow, which is lovely. I'm going for a massage. I'm going to get to see my cousin, which is really, really fun. Um, and then I have to work for three days and then I'm going to ALA Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday I have another, I have a professional development day. So I, in theory, will have a lot of downtime. So hopefully I'll get a lot of reading done while online for midwinter. We will see. But I did actually get, make a lot of reading progress. So I did actually want to finishing The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This was the Owl Crate book for the month of December. Guys, I really enjoyed this book. I, I, I just loved it. I love King Arthur. I love King Arthur retellings. I think the end had some predictable moments. But again, when you go into a retelling, you kind of know who the villain is going to be. And I was actually a little bit surprised who the villain turned out to be. I love the main characters. I love how this book really did focus on Guinevere. I really like that. But we also got elements of other point of views, which I really liked. I like how this book had a very solid cast of characters. And it was just, I love seeing how everyone interacted with each other. Um, the dynamics between the characters was my funnest part. The pacing was super fun. Really excited that this is a trilogy because I really, really wound up liking it. Now, this is a book that I, it's not, it was not one that I would like pick up normally. But I always grab like, um, a graphic novel and stick it in my bag and I knew that I was probably going to finish the Guinevere Deception. So I wound up picking up Go With The Flow by Lucy Williams and Karen Chenine. This I got from first second at New York City Comic Con and this is a graphic novel. I have never read a story like this so it really impressed me. I gave it five stars. I will show you guys the art style because it reminds me a little bit of Princess and the Dressmaker but this book was all in like red which Let's get a little bit chatty. So, this book has to do with girls, females, and friendship, but it also has to do with periods. And I think that in our society, periods and growing up is seen as a very, very negative thing. So, I really love how this book really took that topic and created a whole novel around it. I mean, a graphic novel. I really love the girls in this book. I love how this book not only gave you so much information about that change of life, but also it really delved into activism and friendship and finding your own way and romance. And it was just so fun. The back section has so many just informational information about periods. And I loved the activism in this book dealt back with it. Because the activism in this book needs to happen in real life. I totally agree. Um, and I work with kids. I work in a school. And this situation that happened. So basically it's about this group of girls. Um... And they find out that the tampon and pad dispensers in their bathrooms are always empty. And they kind of go on a mission to make sure that that, that is rectified. And it was just so well done. I loved it. I thought it was so great. I love that it really dealt with a lot of issues of feminine, like, body issues that, like, not are really a addressed in this book. Also, ironically... Guinevere's Deception also dealt with that topic as well in like a historical fiction a historical fiction element. But again, I've never read that discussed in books before and I just really enjoyed it. So I wound up giving this five stars. I thought this was great. I'm going to actually give it to a health teacher in my school and maybe she can use it in one of her classes. Natalie, if you're watching this, this book is going to you. But yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it and I was super impressed by it. And I didn't realize Song of the Crimson Flower would be so short. So I did actually wind up finishing that audiobook today as well as I was cleaning when I came home. Again, I really like that book as well. This was a book that I started in my last reading vlog. It basically follows these two characters and they have an unexpected connection together. And their worlds get a little bit chaotic -y and they have to go on an adventure to save the boy's soul basically. Um, and it just, it was like an adventure story. It was, had a lot of dynamics, a lot of fun banter between the characters that totally had me hooked. 
it was a fast paced read and I really liked it. I read it in like two days. Was not, I think it's only like 288 pages. It's also a part of um, her Forest of a Thousand Lanterns series, but I haven't read the other books, but it was on Audible and I, I mean not Audible, it was on Libby, but I really liked it. I definitely want to go back and read her other books. I do have Forest of a Thousand Lanterns on my shelf. So yeah, I also am going to ALA Midwinter this week. So I am going to try to read a little bit I could read a couple of more books because when I go to ALA Midwinter, I know I'm probably not going to read a lot. I am going to bring books, but I doubt I'll get to read them. So the book that I am going to start tonight is The Unmapped Chronicles by L.B. Elfstone. I really don't know what this about. This book's about. I know it's a middle grade book that I picked up at New York City Comic Con or a friend picked up for me at New York City Comic Con. Honestly, I don't know what it's about, but I heard I know that it's cute. It's a middle grade and I kind of need that right now. So I'm going to dive into this, and before I go to bed tonight, I will update you guys about, about my thoughts. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hi, guys. Lori here. It is almost 11 o'clock, and I just wanted to do a quick check-in. I did read, like, 20 pages of The Unmapped Chronicles, Casper Talk, and The Everdark Wings. Guys, this book is so cute, and <laughs> it's so funny for me when I read, like, middle grade and, like, even, like, YA stories sometimes because I am not a brave person. Like, I am scared. I don't like... I don't like... If I... I don't like adventure. Like, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm a very, very plan-based person. I like when everything according goes to plan. I don't like when my life gets, like, shuffled a little bit. It, like, makes me nervous, and I like to be planned and predictable. Like, that's just how I am. So I love when I read about a character who is, like, not ready for a life of adventure and just wants to sit there with his books and read and make his list, and that's exactly what Casper is to me. It's just this cute little boy who just is, like, living in this British school. And there's a lot of, like, weather issues going on. You also know that this is a fantasy world because in the prologue it tells you about how this fantasy world developed, which I really like. I thought it was a very, very easy way to understand the fantasy world. And then you kind of get flashed to the present where you're, where Casper is living in England with his parents. And there's a lot of, me um, like, meteor um, like, weather-based issues that are causing a lot of drama and he's kind of dealing with the after effects of that. And he's just so sweet. He's like a cinnamon roll character that's just funny. And I'm just really liking reading from his point of view. So I'm going to read about 25 more pages. And then I'm probably going to head to bed for the night. I don't have to go to work tomorrow, which is really, really nice. Um, and it just seems, seems like a really, really, really quick paced read. I'm also getting really excited for ALA. I've never been before, um, and I don't think I'll probably go it again in the near future because this convention always falls on, like, a really, really bad week. It's either when I'm in school or when it's the week before school ends, so I can never really make it to this convention. This year it just, like, kind of worked out that it was near my friend's house and she really wanted me to go, so I went. went. Um, so this is a convention to definitely knock off my bucket list, which I'm really excited about. Um, but I do want to read a couple of books this week to make my TBR a little bit smaller for 2020. But I am doing actually a really good job. I was so happy that I wound up finishing more books today than I thought. So that's really exciting. Um, and I'm going to go back to reading and I will update you guys before I go to bed. I guess. Hey guys, it's 11.12 p.m. And I just wanted to do a quick update that I did wind up getting up to page 36 of The Unmapped Chronicles. This book is really, really cute. I love books that are set in England. I love books that are set in boarding school. I love books that have, like, a mystical world. All, they're all checking my boxes. I love books that have male as a lead. Again, another little box that is being checked. I'm just really impressed. I love how this book also talks about global warming. I think that that's a really important topic to address in literature for kids because it is a real big problem in our current society. I love Casper as a main character. I love this new character that we met. I am definitely going to make some big progress on this book tomorrow. It's not actually that long, and the plot, the print is pretty big, so I'm going to try to make a bit more progress on this tomorrow. But yeah, I'm off to relax for the evening, and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when I wake up. Bye. Hey, Slurry here. I'm back. It's 2.43, and I just literally just got home. I did a bunch of books, bookstagram stuff, but I'm finally ready to dive in and read. Last, late last night, I did pick up The Unmapped Chronicles by L.B. Elfstone, and I'm going to dive back into it today and start reading it. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely a lighter um, middle grade read, but one that I'm really liking so far. Um, so I'm going to head back and read, and when I get about 50 to 100 pages in, I'll check in with you guys. Talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Lori here. I just wound up taking a shower and I changed into my relaxing 
clothes for the evening, and I'm reading, and I'm really enjoying it. It's very, very cold in Long Island, so there's not much to do outside. So I'm just going to read for the rest of the night. I have to work three days this week, and then I get to go on a mini vacation, so I'm really excited about that. But, guys, I'm loving this book, The Unmap Chronicles, Casper Talk, and The Everdark Wings. I think it's, like, the perfect middle grade read. It has so many elements that I enjoy. I think I've said this before. I love it that, that there's a male lead character. I love that it's, like, about, like, an unexpected hero. I love the fantasy world. I love how the fantasy world has elements of our real world, like, really, really bad weather changes, but that has like a fantasy element but also still addresses global warming. I love that he's an unexpected hero and I'm just really liking it. I am 100 pages in and I honestly do not want to put this book down now. I'm just going to keep doing that. I think pizza's on its way so I think I'm going to go see if pizza has come and then I'm going to dive into reading and hopefully make some more progress. I am just really liking this book. She has written so many other books but a lot of them are like out of print or they're under different names. But I'm definitely going to add, like, a couple of her other books to my Goodreads because they just seem really, really fun. So, off to reading I go. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Laurie here. Sorry for the lighting. I'm being a little bit lazy and don't want to get up. But I it is about 7 o'clock, and I did get up to page 150 in Casper Talk um, and the Everdark Wings. I'm really liking this book. I'm definitely loving the adventure. I'm really loving the characters. I'm loving the pacing. It's just a really, really fun read. It's a lot of information that you're getting in this story. So sometimes I have to, like, go back and read a few lines. But she's doing a really good job at creating a world. It's just a lot. And I feel like this is definitely going to be a series. So I feel like book one is just, like, a lot of information. But I love the characters. I really do. I love both characters. I think that they both have secrets or they both have paths that you're not necessarily, like, have a lot of information about but I really do like them as characters and I think that they're super compelling so I'm gonna keep reading and I'll talk to you guys in a bit bye <laughs> hi guys Lori here it's 8 30 I just had to come in here and share that I just realized something that would have made my life so much easier the past like two years so when I read normally when I read and when I read books that like I want to like focus a little bit on I put on background noise which is normally like YouTube videos Normally it's booktube videos because they're talking about reading and I'm reading and it just kind of works. So, but my problem is during the work week, I don't like to watch those videos because I really want to give them my undivided attention. So I never knew how to store them. <laughs> Finally realized you can make yourself a queue list, which I should have been doing this entire time because it would make my watching life so much easier. Did not know that that feature existed, so now I have a queue list of all my videos, which will make it really easy to watch. So I'm definitely not going to finish the whole thing tonight. I'm going to probably go to bed a little bit earlier today, probably around 9.30, 10. Um, I normally go to bed at 11, but I just really have been feeling a little bit depleted energy-wise, and I think that's because I've been going to bed so late, and then I've been like having a really short time with my kids, which is not good for anyone involved, so... I'm actually going to head to bed a little bit earlier, but I do want to make, I want, I really want to get up to page 200, which I don't think will be a problem for um, Mark Chronicles, Casper Talk, and the Everdark Wings. I love this book so much. I really love it. I love the world building. I love the characters. It's like a less intense version of Keeper of the Lost Cities. If you like Keeper of the Lost Cities, I do recommend this book a lot. I'm just, I'm really liking it. Um, so I'm going to keep reading and go watching my other videos, and I will check in with you guys before I go to bed this evening. Bye, guys. Hey, it's Larry here. It is almost 9 o'clock, and I did actually reach my goal of getting up to page 200 in the Unwrapped Chronicles, but I ended in, like, a really awkward place, so I'm at least going to finish my chapter. I might actually read a little bit more. I might go to 930, but I'm really liking this book. I love, I love books that focus on friendship, and I think in middle grade it's really important. Because making friends is sometimes really challenging for kids. I also really just like Casper's character. I think he's a really unique hero that I don't think you read about a lot. And I really like that. I love this world. This world reminds me so much of just like a fun world. And you're learning so much. It's a lot of information. But I'm really hopeful that this will become a series. And every book will just expand it even more. I always have a little bit of a problem when like characters just like go to a fantasy world and you never hear about their parents like what is happening to their parents that is a question I always have but it's just so fun um I'm on page 202 and I have to get it to page 370 so definitely not gonna finish this read tonight but I do want to at least maybe make it to like 230 so I'm gonna read a little bit more and when I get up to like a ending point I'll come back in and end this reading vlog for well this and this 
and end my reading evening and I'll pick it back up tomorrow. So talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. It's Lori here. So in about a day, day and a half, I read about 212 pages, which is actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty proud of that. I really am liking that book. Sorry, I put it away because I'm getting ready to go to school tomorrow. But really liking it. I think it has such strong messages about friendship and being brave and standing up for yourself. I'm really loving the world. Honestly, it may, I don't know, but I'm going to see where it is. But right now it's like a five-star read. I'm really enjoying it. Loving the characters, loving the setting, really liking it. It's really hard to put that book down, but the heart of that soul is Casper. Casper in that book is just a character after my own heart. I love male leads. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm part of the Harry Potter generation. I don't know, but I love male leads. I love middle grade stories, and I really, really love this one. There's also a little dragon in it, which is so sweet. There's like a friendship dynamic that is really interesting between Nev um, between Casper and the girl that he finds that at the end of the book like thinks he's a criminal and tries to take him to like her leaders. Really, really liking it. I'm really enjoying it. Tomorrow is my first drama club rehearsal, hopefully. Um, I don't know if they're all going to know that they have drama rehearsal tomorrow, so hopefully tomorrow will be drama rehearsal, um, so I can at least start prepping for that a little bit, and it will kind of be a nice start before I have my bookish vacation, so really excited about that. But I just wanted to come in and say I really am liking that book. Like, really liking it. It's definitely the first middle grade read I've read this year, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I really have to figure out what I'm going to do for the next two days if I finish that because the books I'm bringing with me, I don't necessarily want to start before I leave here. So kind of debating that. I might pick up like a longer fantasy read and just read it after ALA. I have no idea. But I'll definitely come in tomorrow and let you guys know my thoughts. I'm also bringing um, Tales of Beetle in the Bar with me and I do have an audiobook. Um, I am going to try to catch up tomorrow on my commute catch up on um, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix because I fell really far behind on Mugg MuggleCast. And after I'm caught up on that, I'm going to try to do some listening that's not audiobooks, but still listen to an audiobook daily. So I'm just going to try to do that. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another update. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Lori here. I'm back. It's 801. I just came back. I actually have to stay really, really, really late for rehearsals on Tuesdays now, which is fine. I love putting up the show, but I'm just going to put my schedule back a little bit. But I did want to talk about that I did make a bunch of progress on the Unmap Chronicles, and now on page 276. Guys, this book is adorable. I'm really loving it. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the world building. I'm really just loving the friendships, and I'm just loving the life lessons that are, like, interspersed in this novel. Um, I'm on 276. I'm going to see um, what percentage I'm at because it might tell me um let me see what it says but I really did have a good day at work it was not crazy I am super excited um for ALA midwinter like all my friends are going they're all heading there a lot earlier than me but I will be there later on in the week um and according to this I'm like 72 percent done I don't think I'll finish this tonight, but I think I'll make a good amount of progress. But I did get a really exciting box from Entangled Teen that I wanted to um, unbox for you guys. The front of it is Malice, um, and it's from the New York Times selling author Pin Tip Dunn. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to unbox it and let you guys know. Um, ooh, the first thing I'm seeing is Write Your Own Destiny. Um, and the book, I think, is called Malice, which is exciting, so... That's the card I got. Um, I also got... Ooh, geez. I also got... Ooh, no, I don't want to rip it. Because it's so nice. I don't want to rip it. Um, she also sent us a letter, which is written to us. Um, which I'm really excited about. So we have this, like a letter to me personally, which I really like. I also got this notebook, which I am so fond of notebooks. I have no idea I got an Entangled Teen pen, which is really exciting. Um, and we also got a copy of Malice by Pin Tip Dunn. Um, I don't know what this book's about, um, but it says, What I know, a boy in my school will one day wipe out two-thirds of the population with the virus. What I don't know is who he is. 
Ooh, it's in a race against the clock. I only have to, I not only have to figure out his identity, but I have to figure out what a voice from the future telling me to kill him because I'm starting to realize I'm no one is telling the truth. But how can I play chess with someone who already knows the outcome of my every move? Someone so filled with malice, they're lost all hope in humanity. Well, I'll just have to find a way because now they're drawn a target on the only boy I've ever loved. That sounds incredible. Oh my goodness. This comes out. Um, what did the card say? I think the card said it came out early February. Let's see. What does it say? This comes out February 4th. So it's coming out really, really quick. This cover is so pretty. I'm really excited. I'm, I've been actually getting a lot of like unsolicited mailings from them, and I've actually been reading them pretty quickly. I've read Keystone. I read Adorkable. I'm definitely going to add this to my TBR for um, February. It actually seems like it has like a, you know, like a romantic element to it. So I'm going to go read. Um, well, I have to finish eating first. I'm going to go read though. Um, and before I go to bed, I'll check back in and let you guys know how much progress I have made. But I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. It's Lori here. It's like 924. And I'm about to like relax for the evening. I kind of got to like a climax of the book. I kind of got to page 300. So I was kind of happy with that. Um, I definitely will probably wind up finishing this book tomorrow. I'm also going to bring um, another book with me. Um, I don't think I'm going to finish another book before I go to ALA. I may, but this is like a really, really short, cozy mystery, which I haven't read a lot of. It's just a series that I picked up this summer when I was in Virginia with my cousin. And this is called The Secrets of Mary's Bookshop. This is Hidden Meeting. I have no idea what number this is. Um, but I know that it's like one of those really, really cozy mysteries, kind of like the Joanne Fuca series that I've like been really enjoying. So I'm going to bring this book with me and I'm going to stick it in my bag and then I'm definitely going to attempt to finish Unmapped Chronicles tomorrow and we will see. I may not even make it to the second book but I want to have it on me because my thing is I always have to have a book on me and if I don't I get really angry and upset and then I have to buy something. So I'm trying to limit my buying because I am going to ALA Friday um, but I will definitely like take the books with me. So that's my plan and I will definitely check in with you guys tomorrow. I don't actually have to, I don't actually have rehearsal tomorrow. So that's actually nice. So I can like come home, relax. I'm going to have to pack tomorrow night. Um, I'm also going to have to, um, make some ALA schedules if I decide that I'm going to do that, which they really don't have schedules out. They have a couple, so I'll probably make like a tentative schedule and then I'll probably fix it um, Thursday night before I head to bed because I'm leaving Friday morning. Um, but yeah, that's my plan right now. And I'm going to go relax and probably watch some booktube videos that came out today. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Lori here. I'm back. <laughs> um, I just wanted to do a quick update. It's 6.10. I should get home a lot earlier today than I normally do because I have my theater through a window like I'll say it broke, but like the window wouldn't shut, so I like didn't stay as long as I should have. I'm still unsure if I'm actually gonna have rehearsal tomorrow, just because I don't want the kids to get sick if they're in my theater and it's like an ice box. But that's a problem for another time. But I'm happy to report that I did wind up finishing the Unmap Chronicles, Casper Talk, and the Everdark Wings, guys. I simply love this book. Like, I, it's been a while. I mean, I love Keeper of the Lost Cities, but like in the last. 2019 and 2020, I've been finding some really impressive middle grade series that I'm just really enjoying. I really love this book. Definitely would give it five stars. I love the world building. I love the main character. I love the friendships. I love how it talked about like a lot of topics like bravery and courage and friendship. And I just really liked it. I thought it was so sweet. And I'm so happy that I wound up getting this um, at New York City Comic Con. My friend wound up picking it up for me because she knows how much I like middle grade. Such a cute read. Um, this recently came out, so I'm really glad that I finally picked it up. So on the train ride home, because I should finish that one at work. I don't normally read books at work, but I really wanted to finish it. So I wound up picking up um, The Secrets of Mary's Bookshop, Hidden Meaning by Elizabeth Adams. This is like a cozy mystery. I normally read them by Joanne Fuca. I don't know. This book, I'm liking the mystery. It's very, like, God-focused. Like, she's very, like, a Christian woman. Which is normally fine. I just, it's not really what I normally read. So I'm going to see if the mystery captures me. I'm on, I'm like on page 38. And I'm just going to put read and see how far I can get. Without anything, I'm definitely going to start a new book to, on um, 
fr th Friday when I'm traveling because they're just going to be quicker reads. But I'm going to see how far I can get in this. I would love to finish it before Friday, but we will see. But I'm off to keep reading, and I'll let you guys my, know, my, know my thoughts in a little bit. It is 6.12 or 6.13, so I'll probably update you guys in like an hour. Talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Hi guys, Lori here. Sorry for the bad lighting. My mom turned my light off, and I don't feel like getting up. But I do want to report that I did make a little bit of progress on this book. I'm now on page 85. I will admit, I'm actually really liking the mystery. Normally, all the mystery book or cozy mystery books I read all involve murder. This one doesn't involve murder. So it basically follows this character named Mary. And I think it's a series. I think this is book, like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know. The, I don't even know like the number of this book, but I feel like it's like a long series. I feel like there's like a lot of books in this series, but basically follows Mary. She owns a bookshop and she winds up getting sucked into these mysteries that she winds up solving. This mystery is the it basically starts at the funeral of one of her friends or like a um a um I would say like an acquaintance um named Margaret and Margaret is like a literary agent and she has been trying to help. Mary get published as an author before she passes away. She winds up having an unexpected encounter with a woman that claims that Margaret wasn't Margaret and Margaret stole her daughter's identity. Um, and Mary's daughter kind of in wants Mary to like investigate the crime and see what has happened if that's true. Um, and then some other secrets have come to light. But I'm liking it. It's like a pure mystery and it has really nothing to do with murder or like anything like dramatic. But I'm really liking it. I'm the God stuff is still occurring. Like, it's still very much in the background of this novel. But I'm really liking it. I'm on page 85, and I'm going to keep reading. So I'm going to go back to reading, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. This is Lori here. Just a quick check-in. It's like 818, and I'm basically up to page 100. But I just wanted to say that I didn't realize that this is book 25 in the series. But they seem pretty self-contained, so I'm definitely going to finish it. If I like it as much, I might go back and, like, try to read the other ones at some point. But again, it took me like a long time to catch up on the Joanne Fuca series. I do like that it doesn't have to do with murder as much. I like that it's pure mystery. But again, this was book 25. It's also really interesting because the books aren't all written by the same authors. Like, I guess that they're all written by different authors. Like, I think that there's like a series of like seven that just interchange. So that's interesting. I've never read a book series like that before, but I did get these in Virginia, so... I'm going to keep reading and give you guys my thoughts, but right now on page 100, I am liking it. I'm thinking the characters are super interesting. I love the bookshop as, like, a setting. I love small towns. I love the Joanne Fuca series. That small town is so funny and so interesting, and I really hope we get to see a little bit more of the town's character in this book. But again, book 25. I did not expect that, but that's okay. I'm going to head back to reading, and I'll update you guys right before I go to bed. Bye, guys. Guys, Lori here. I'm back. I just want to say that I did one of getting up to page 140 and hit a meeting. I'm intrigued. I really am. I'm really liking the mystery. I'm really liking the characters. We're getting a lot more information, and I think it's also another book where, like, you... They sometimes they these books can come across as like a little bit condescending in some ways because like they really have to like explain stuff to you, and if you have been like a mystery reader. Or even a YA reader for me, I think they dumb it down like a little bit too much. But I am liking the simplicity of it. And I think it really is a solid mystery. Like I don't even know what the mystery will like wind up being. So I'm about 51% done. It is a very, very fast paced read. So I think I'm going to bring another book with me for work tomorrow. But I doubt I'm going to finish it. And whatever, I f I'm, I'll just start my next read tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to head to bed. And tomorrow when I come home is when my vacation starts for ALA. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Here, I'm back. It's 7.33. I definitely got home a little bit earlier. There was some scheduling issues with the space I was using, which always happens when you work in a middle school. But I did get to, like, meet my whole cast today. We got to play some theater games, which was nice. And so, yeah. I actually did wind up completing Hidden Meaning. Um, by Elizabeth Adams. I liked it. I think it was a very cute, cozy mystery. I think it was a little bit, it had a little bit too much religious undertones for my liking, but I did like it. I thought that it was a solid mystery, one that I didn't necessarily predict, but I felt like the reason that I didn't predict it was like it was a very, very slow paced mystery. So there was elements that didn't really come into like the end of the story, but it's definitely not like 
at least this one, it didn't have to do with murder. There was other elements at play that I really like, so I'm kind of giving this like three stars. I thought the writing was really interesting. I like the character. I really like the setting. It's a very, very long series, so I don't even know if I'm going to go back and read like the whole series, but for the moment, I really did like this one. So I am going to pick up the book that I'm going to start reading tomorrow, which is The Stormkeeper's Island by Catherine Doyle. Um, I don't know what this is about. I know it's about, like, a mystery little boy that, like, has to, like, lead or run, like, a lighthouse. And there's some magic. I know that it was a former Owl Creek Jr. pick, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to dive into this. I definitely won't make a lot of progress tonight, but I'm going to make a little bit of progress. And I'll definitely update you guys before I go to bed. Um, or actually, I will update you guys, and then I'm going to close out this reading vlog. Because the next time you see me will be after ALA. Bye, guys. Hey, Lori here. I'm just checking back in. It's about 9 o'clock, and I did want to say that I did make a little bit of progress on Stone Keeper's Island. I'm on page 40. It's a very, like, slower-paced middle grade story, but it basically follows this young boy named Finn. He lives in Ireland, um, but he's sent to live with his grandfather because his mom is dealing with a bunch of, like, issues. I think she's dealing with depression after the death of Finn's father. So Finn winds up going to Ireland with his sister, um, and then he starts to think that the that where he is is not normal, and he's having a bunch of like elements happen that he's not really he's basically he's convinced it's magic, but he doesn't really believe in magic. So I'm really liking it. I'm gonna keep reading. I would love to get up to page 100 tonight, but we will see. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to reading. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Right here i'm here to wrap up this reading vlog it's really early on friday morning um but i just wanted to come in and wrap it up i did wind up reading about 50 pages of the stormkeeper's island um i think it's a definitely different type of middle grade book than the one that i just read because i really loved the unmapped chronicles but i am gonna finish reading it i am also taking another book on my trip with me when i go to philadelphia so when i come back i'm gonna try my hardest to film for that vlog i don't know if I, how successful i will be but I will try. But I just wanted to come up here and wrap up this reading vlog. And in real time, the next video you guys will see from me is probably my ALA book haul. So, see you guys in a bit. Or see you guys next time I film. Bye, guys.